All right, guys, this morning we're gonna start. It's cold, it's cold, cold, it's cold. We're gonna start here at the warehouse. Uh, we gotta pick some stuff for tonight's premium picks on a whatnot sale. So uh, let's get at it here. Let's see what we can find. Welcome to today's issue of Burner Brother Antiques. Now, here's a really cool piece of Evans. I think we should get this one. This is out of that little, that little estate in uh, Fort Miami. Where were we at? Fort Lauderdale, Jimmy. You was with me. Way up there in that high rise. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we'll get that one. Pretty cool bride's basket here. Um, it's got nice coloring on it. I think we could take that one too, a little Victorian bride's basket. It's a really cool piece of art glass down here. I think we could take that one. So we got some picks at the warehouse, brought them out here to the auction, and uh, Lucas is over here getting them unpacked and photographed right now for whatnot. Luke, tonight's whatnot. Uh, how you feeling about it so far? Uh, I don't know. Gotta get some work done first, huh? Yeah. That's a cool vase. I mean, I think that should bring a lot of money. That's a really cool art pottery vase. Nice paperweights though. There's some fun stuff over here. I'm liking what how it's coming together now. Joe, how's it going this morning? Not too bad. Yeah, everything all right? Yeah. You get some rest last night? I got a little bit of rest. <laughs> got, got a little bit I'm of rest. Tired this weekend. Working on silver? Yep, just okay. some silver. Cool, is this for next week's auction? Yep, next okay. week's. Awesome. So what do you got going on today? I don't know, invoicing. Invoicing and then what? Catalog? No, you probably won't get through invoicing today, will you? Well, lately on Mondays or Tuesdays, I haven't gotten through invoicing, but today there's a small chance I might. Okay. Since we don't have another auction today. Cool, all right. I'll catch you in a little bit. Hey, we had to go and do a, a, a quick call. We're running over here behind Masonic Home again. Uh, we're going to take a look at some stuff. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Uh, it'll be interesting. I don't know. We don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> she said, get over here. She wants to take up all the furniture and stuff, but I don't, I don't know if we're going to take the furniture. We'll, we'll talk to her and see what happens. All right, let's go. We are looking all at stuff right, right now. All these things here. So we got the phone, uh, the clock, and the lamp. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we were pretty, Columbus this is old. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. table, the table as well. Yeah. Well, Yes, I did all the auctions. Okay. I, I was only a part time for me. Okay. I was right here. I didn't do my own. I didn't hear somebody. Yeah. Okay. There was a guy. These kind of things. Was a guy okay. Delaware. Perfect. All these little things. Napkin rings. Okay. Doug Smith in oh, Columbus. Yeah. Okay. Did you remember Doug Smith? I, I looked this so. up in the. Yeah, and we're on this TV, area. We've in the TV here. today. Yeah. So That's worth a lot of money. But we can't drag it around anymore. Right, right. Okay, the lamp. The lamp. The we did. The glassware. Well, you probably yeah. didn't hear about it. But this is a tea auction. set. Little Do you carnival, remember where carnival came set from? here. Traveling yeah. Oh, wow. And it was a company. With, uh, yeah. They did that. It's a Libby, probably, isn't it? No. Yeah, Your anchor hawking, maybe? And we did a lot of them in Cambridge. It's nice a set. You remember. Uh, Pass and yeah. all that go for it is there. Not much. Mm. Yeah. What do you think about that collection? uh well i mean that's a hard for me it's a it's a hard to sell collection for me um but yeah pretty a lot of stuff isn't it yeah all right so here's some glassware okay this is inter interesting stuff we're getting too old for it. getting too old for it okay i like the this one here the pink that's pretty cool Let's see what we got here on this table okay a yeah, lot of pieces here down. too. Look back here at the big scene. Here's a whole bunch of stuff here. Yeah, well, they, they <laughs> I like these little little angel guys uh -huh. here. Yeah, they always do. A little bit of yeah, everything. I got, what are you doing there, I got 24 years. With a lot of stuff. Wow. Since I retired. Here's some resin figures, and then there's Feel a little Oriental teapot. Do they sell well? Uh, they're hard. A lot of this stuff has just changed. The market's changed. Wow. Where, what do you mean? It, well. Let's talk about it for a minute. Okay, so here is what working. we ended up getting uh, off the shelf here with a little bit of a little bit of stuff here, trying to help them out, and then we're going to set them up with a little auction house around here that they can get the rest of the stuff sold at. Well, we're just leaving out of here, um, out of the Masonic home. We ended up buying just a you know a small group of stuff, two box loads, um, but we did get them set up with a local guy going to come out uh, this week and uh, pick up all their stuff for them and get it sold. But man, that was he he was crazy. He, 92 years old and working 95. at 95 and working 95 at Walmart. Still, still works at Walmart. He does uh, seven hour shifts. That's crazy. Yeah. Seven hour shifts at 95 years old. And he's working second shift. Is he really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize it was yeah. second shift. Second shift. In the shoe department. 
Really? Yeah. yeah. Don't okay. Push the shoes, Don't gets it all shoes. ready to go out. Man, what a what a gym, huh? I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool. It was good. He's, he's now talking the, to him. <laughs> he's from the work yeah, age, that's for sure. And he was an auctioneer. He was an auctioneer. Yep. And uh, yeah, he's uh, known known our family for a long time. Um, then uh, yeah, uh, knew the Knights as well, mm -hmm. and worked a bunch of places around here. He said he let his auction license expire, which they were they were pretty cool. I feel sorry when we get into those those positions though, when, we, when it's like people want us to be able to buy their stuff, and it's just not stuff we that's in our market. Yeah, it's just not the stuff that we're we're able to do much with yeah but that's okay we got them hooked up and they're going to be good to go and now we're going on another house call we got an aladdin lamp collection next uh, we've seen the photos already um it's in storage and the gentleman wants it out of storage there's what well, how many lamps is there like 60 60 60 aladdin lamps so this could be fun um, and it's all over the place so we don't know <laughs> yeah yeah there's it's, a to z lamp yeah, I mean, there's, a to z there's uh oil lamps there's electric lamps and there's all all sorts of uh, floor lamps and all ages uh all varieties so if anything with aladdin they liked so we're gonna go there right now and uh we're gonna grab the van first and then go over there so let's keep going let's see what we got here so so all the lamps are the signs going to or just the no, lamps? just the lamps, just the lamps. Yeah, okay yeah. The, uh, just the aladdin lamps so not the other stuff yeah okay yeah the, the, the ones that you sent me the photos of exactly perfect okay yep all right, well, let me let me get in here and dig around for a yep, little bit. Yep, you go for it. We'll see what we got here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting group. These are our original shades, but they're kind of no good anymore. I saved it, I think, because it said it was redone by Reich, Reich Kumler Company. Yeah. That goes back. That's a ways back, isn't it? It is. Okay. Well, I think. So here we go. We got the lamps are going to get loaded. Jimmy's in the truck. Jimmy, we're going to keep you in the truck and just hand stuff up to you. You'll have to stack it and pack it, okay? Who packed this truck? So we're going to buy these lamps in here. We looked through the email again and uh, talked to him about what he's got and came up with an agreement. So uh, we'll get them all in and we'll, we'll get them unpacked and show you what we got after we unpack them. Well, what's going on, Jimmy? You got to get these loaded, bud. You, you watch. He's not used to working at this pace, is he? He's not used to working at this disaster level we've got going on here. You guys watch real? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Okay. All right, well, that's, that's right. over. It's loaded. Uh, we're, we're not sure if it's going to make it survive the trip or not. <laughs> oh, that's an amazing pack, John. <laughs> Clear the back door. I mean, we could almost not get the door shut. We got it, though. Jimmy's in training still. <laughs> oh, that's like a Florida pack right there. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot a lot of lamps though a lot of Latin lamps and there was uh some pieces that he he didn't send us the email with that's uh, in there shades. as well a couple shades so Let's see what they look it'll like. be fun um a couple the, more pieces after we shut the just door just right here <laughs> <laughs> buying that one by the piece oh that happens <laughs> But Jimmy, Jimmy got it all packed up. Uh, he was very happy with what he got. He want, he had a price in mind already that he wanted, and uh, we we were able to pay it, and uh, that worked out. And he yeah. had already had him a couple places, uh, showed a few people, shopped him around, yeah. shopped him around, and then uh, decided this is what I want, uh, and that worked out. So we're gonna take him, go unpack him, and uh, see what you see what we got. We'll we'll try and film some of that. Miss Pat, she showed up today out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, we got some more cards up in the office for you up there. Oh, okay. In the front office, and I got a pin up there as well. Yeah. Uh, you got you got to fix her up, not make her look good, right? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh All right, we'll we'll go up front, and I'll get you these cards, okay? Okay. Mom, how's okay. it going today? Okay, I'm finally here. <laughs> You're finally here. Did you get your hair cut? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bobby just styled it different. Styled it different today. Okay. <laughs> Do you show up late or something? To just get here. Well, I dad had two appointments at the doctor's. And oh, I got okay. Here late, but cool. All right. I'm here. Good deal. <laughs> we went and picked up a bunch of Aladdin lamps. So. Oh, did you? Yep. We're gonna get them unpacked here in a minute. Oh wow. <laughs> I just I just gave Miss Pat the pin that that uh, Beth just got her. That's absolutely darling. It's darling, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> it's an owl. It's, it's an owl. It's an owl. It's an owl. It's beautiful. So that's uh, that was from a gift from Bethness. She bought it at one of our shows, and uh, she said to give that to you. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's fun. I'll tell her. I'll tell her to watch this video today. Yes, okay. I, I love it. Oh, I love it. Yep. <laughs> What's this thing here? You gonna call it? I'm gonna name it Murphy. Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. All right, let's have like let's it. have a look at Murphy one time. Here, take a look at There's Murphy. Murphy. Murphy's pretty cool. Yeah. Murphy, it's oh, going home with Pat. Murphy Blue Eyes. Near Petunia, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There's a lot of fitting. 
fitting. It's a lot of fitting, Jimmy. I'm thinking about doing a fitting white, the white out sale with fitting. To a smaller case that I had out. We're out here in booth 6130. This is what I love about these guys. They're custom fitting this booth, uh, building the shelves, everything in here, custom fit to make the display perfect. So when you guys come out to the Antique Center, you gotta come out and check this out, guys. 6130, uh, you guys drive in pretty good ways away. Three hours. Three hour drive to get here. Um, and they're, I mean, they got just incredible selection of stuff in here from toys to rarities, uh, miniature bottles. There's a lot of original stuff in here. And this, this booth looks absolutely amazing uh, on how they put it together. So come check these guys out. And this is what it looks like when they're done right here. I mean, they got the rarest stuff. Great lunchbox collections too, and just tons of toys. Come check them out. Wow, this is a lot of fenton. This is all all unwrapped on the tables here now. One more box. Got stuff up here. We, need, we got still one more box to go. Uh, white out. We have a white out. <laughs> a fenton white out. What we got going on here, Josh, is sawdust heaven. Everything is covered in sawdust. Pa packing sawdust. Covered in sawdust. And this is how the lamps are all packed. Well, well that one don't have sawdust. This is the only one that Jeez, show over there. Here, we've just unpacked all these boxes. They were all buried in the sawdust. I've never seen anything in my life packed in sawdust before. Um, that's kind of crazy, but uh, we're getting through it, and we still got sawdust res residue flying everywhere. <laughs> Our current situation: these are all Aladdin, all Aladdin. Crazy amount of Aladdin stuff here. And then outside, we got, Ooh, Jay, we got sawdust everywhere. That's like a clam broth color. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's a good looking color. I don't really like that color. These are all Aladdin lamps. And the sawdust is gone everywhere now. We've got the truck yeah, full of sawdust. We got, we got sawdust piled everywhere, blown across the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> all over us. Looks like you got a woodworking meal going on here. It does, doesn't it? Woodchuck would love this place. <laughs> That's funny. There's another one. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a lot of sawdust. <laughs> oh, that's okay. All right, this one's coming out of an Aladdin box from Aladdin Industries. That ain't working. That ain't working. <laughs> you got to get on the other end and pull. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on. Let me get the end here. All right, there we go. <laughs> the other one, just push now. There you go. Hold on. Back her up. Back her up. Fall off the bottom. <laughs> Aladdin Industries box. Oh boy. Okay, this. Uh, may, oh, be careful opening that one up. This is kind of cool from the side view. Is it upside down? Hold on. It's a whole lamp, an Aladdin student lamp. Watch that show, Ch Chimney Josh. Okay. There you go chimney uh i think we want to leave that exactly that way and take it and put it in there on the table yep brand new aladdin lamp in the box <laughs> and here's what we got to do with the sawdust there she goes we're gonna put it in the back of Alan's truck and he goes home down the highway <laughs> might blow out <laughs> well, it's snowing. that's funny it would look just throw these old poops away huh yeah recycling we got a good level. What it's is our it? Bed. What is it, Stanley? Stare it. Stare it. Oh, that's the best you can get. Hey. Stare it is. That's right. I I hold I hold the record for having them. That's right. Stare it's the best you, there is. That's hey, good. You want to shop? You shop down here at uh, Har, Ohio. You get the they best. They got it right here. And Herb's got it. You don't that's have awesome. to look no further. That's it. <laughs> He just surprised me a little bit ago. Well, what, what, tell, yeah. tell them what, what happened here. Well, I, I came up to put some more stuff up front. I was walking to the back, and this nice old couple from Alabama, nice young lady, come up and hand me. She said, I got a present for your brother. Is he here? And I said, he is. And she gave me a little things that go on your glasses. Uh -huh. I said, let me see those. Let me see that. Let yeah. me see that. Here we go. <laughs> I, well, I get them off my head Get them off your head. Look at she this. She said, since he's always losing his glasses. Check that out. Now. 
We won't lose them no more. I know. He'd and they've been right working. On. I've I've had them on for like an hour now, and they've been working. Yeah, and the problem is he still asked where his glasses were. I know. Well, where are my glasses? He's not used to having them right there, and he was asking for them. I said, they're right there. They're right there. They're on your chest now. Uh, we'll see how, how quick it takes me to lose that, huh? Well, I hope not. But that was a good guess. It was, and that was so cool. They, drove, so nice up, they drove up from Alabama. They said this was on their bucket list yeah. to come here. Yeah, well, they said they were staying two days. They were, yeah, they they were, were shopping yesterday. one day yep. uh, yesterday. They were staying at the hotel, and then they were coming back today. They were going to spend a lot more time going slower. Yeah, they said you told them to go the opposite way the I second did. day, and she said it was amazing how much everything looked different, how many more things they found. I did. I told her I'd do that myself. I said, if you come in here and you go one way, I said, you spend two days. I said, the, the next day, walk the exact opposite way. And mm. Okay, so I'm just, I'm, we're just going to go around and start asking our employees something interesting about yourself. So say, say you, introduce yourself. Say your name and something interesting. I'm Meredith, and um, what's interesting about me? Uh, I went to school for welding. Welding? I, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. When? <laughs> um, past couple of years I've okay. been going, yeah. What do you like to weld? Everything. Really? Anything that well, weld? Well, like, what, what I learned in class, I like flat welding, mm -hmm. and um, I'm not a huge fan of overhead, but it is fun sometimes. Okay. It's, it's a challenge. It's a big cool. challenge. And you've been welding for a couple of years. Well, that is something interesting. So when you see Meredith up here now, you know we've got a welder in the house. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joyce, and I was in elementary education for 34 years. 34 years! Okay, what grade? Um, well, I taught middle school, third grade, second grade, first grade. Wow. And then I was an instructional coach for 20 years. Instructional so, coach for uh -huh. 20 so years. So this is my retirement job. Oh, how that you like it so far? <laughs> it's yes, doing all right so far, it. right? Yep, love it. Yep, awesome. Surrounded by all the things I love. Oh, that's cool. And great people. Awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Who are you and what's up, interesting? Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Mo's just the whole thing yeah. is interesting. Everything about Mo's is interesting. I don't know, ain't too much interesting about me. Just, just being me. Just be you being you. Just be me, me. Me, me, me. How long yeah. have you worked here? Uh, been a while. 15, 20 years, something like that. 15 to 20 years. That's yeah. pretty interesting. I think what I find Way. interesting is the tribe that you're, you belong oh, to. Oh, yeah. Chippewa. What is it? Yeah. He's Native American. He's, what, what tribe? Chippewa. Chippewa. Yeah. Okay, where were they at? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. Okay. I got a brother and sister still up there on the res. Are still up on the res? Okay. Yeah, one's a principal. The other one's a first responder. Okay. My niece be just became a Ohio State Patrol or Wisconsin. Okay, Wisconsin State yeah. Patrol. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, I don't know where she got that from. <laughs> <laughs> the other side. The other side. Uh, the other uh, well, that's cool. All right. Well, yeah. so so Mo is is for part of the Chippewa. That's yeah. interesting. See, yeah. uh, thank you, Mo. We appreciate you sharing that. Yeah. Hi, my name is Lori, and I am a proud Nana of five grandchildren, which oh, oh, one cute. of them is seven days old. Seven days old. You were showing pictures last mm -hmm. week too. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. Doesn't that feel good just yes, to hold them does. babies? It wow. Does. Well, be proud of that. That's great. I am. That's awesome. Thank you. Hello. My name is Cordelia. I also go by Corey. Uh, one thing interesting about me is that I am fluent in sign language. I'm not an interpreter, but I am fluent. Um, I also am really into vintage jewelry and um, vintage clothing. Okay. So. Sign language. Like, okay. American sign, sign language. American sign language. Okay. Sign something for us. So I can say like, welcome to the heart of Ohio. Um, I can also help out if you need assistance. Um, I'm not an interpreter, like I said, but I am fluent. Um, That's awesome. <laughs> I did not know that. I'm not a licensed interpreter, not but I can help. help if out. someone yeah. is deaf, I can help. Um, so if you want to come in, I can help you out. <laughs> Thank you. That's cool. Wow. That awesome. What's your, what's your name? <laughs> oh, my name's Al. You want something interesting, Al? Yeah. Uh, it's a good day for uh, for the heart today. Yeah, yeah good day for the heart today. Yes, That's sir. always interesting, isn't it? Yes, what about sir. you? Anything interesting about yourself you want to share? Uh, you just go lucky just, guy. Just just working. Just working. You know, I like to stay busy. Stay busy. You, yeah. and that's something interesting. You always like to stay busy. You yes, say sir. that. You don't like to sit still. Yeah, I don't. No, that's yes, awesome. Yes, well, thank you, Al. There you um, go. I'm Eliza. I'm a power lifter for the past four years, and I'm a team captain for the past two. Power lifter. What's the most you've ever lifted? <sighs> um, my deadlift, my PR was 325. 
Nice. My bench was 130, and then my squat was 300. Wow. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Captain. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hi, my name is Bill. Uh, something interesting about myself is I love playing in the mud in my Jeep. Playing in the mud in your Jeep, so yeah. you like go out to the track like a. I try to out go out of town, like in the Kentucky or Tennessee, and hit up the mud parks. Do you get like a Corbin, Kentucky, that area? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever have you stopped there at the top of Jellico Mountain? No, that I one? haven't. No. Okay. Cool. I tried one time at the Wayne National Forest out here, but my truck was too wide. I couldn't. They wouldn't allow me in the trails. Okay. And uh, what kind of what kind of truck is it? It's a '92 YJ Jeep. Wow, okay. So that is interesting. Thank you. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that. That was a quick run through with uh, the staff. Just asking an interesting, guy, uh, interesting thing about themselves. And uh, yeah, keep watching our channel here at Burner Brother Antiques. We're actually getting ready to start two whatnot sales tonight. So I'm not sure if I'm going to film any of it, but if not, then we'll see you later. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, you might get bonus footage. I'm not sure yet.